We've seen the reports of missing people in North Alabama. It's a family's worst nightmare. What should they do? Who should they call? Our Jasmine Bird reached out to local law enforcement and has some answers. Uh, once an individual is, is confirmed missing, uh, we, will, uh, we will receive a call through our 911 dispatch center and we will generate a, a missing persons report. Soon after that report is made, it's assigned to a detective. Who will uh, use every available means that he has to uh, find information out on this person. Madison County Sheriff Public Information Officer Brent Patterson says Aaliyah helps distribute the information through the NCIC. National Crime Information Center. It's in Montgomery, and that is a, that, that is a uh, law enforcement uh, database that uh, we utilize and can, it's, it's a it's a really good way to get information to different places at different times. Athens Police Department Detective Lieutenant Jonathan Caldwell says a common misconception is that you have to wait 24 hours to report someone missing. You know, uh, you know, wait 24 hours, especially if it's a, a, a missing, you know, person with dementia or something like that. Uh, they can travel a lot of distance in 24 hours and it makes him it make hard for us to find them. Another key thing to keep in mind is staying where you last saw the missing individual. If they left the residence, you know, you need someone to stay at that house the entire time. Yes, people need it about looking, but we need someone to stay there the entire time because there are several times that they do come back, and if they come back and nobody's there, then they might leave. And most importantly... If you know something, say something. That's my favorite term. In Huntsville, Jasmine Bird. Fox 54 News.